This is the four square step test, which is looking at balance. It's typically used more in the athletic uh, population. But I find that many of my geriatric patients coming in are athletes. I have tennis players, I have golfers, and some of them are in really fabulous shape. So you sometimes need a higher level test. Uh, I would not use this for someone who could not pass a dynamic gait index test. But just as an example, we're going to time how quickly they can step clockwise through a square, stepping both feet in each square and forward and backwards. So they're going to go clockwise through the squares and then counterclockwise. We need to see that they can do that in 15 seconds or less. That's our normative cutoff value. If they can't do it in 15 seconds or less, they're at a positive risk of falling. So Maureen, I'm going to ask you to step forward into the first box, sideways, go ahead right and step now. forward, sideways, backward, sideways, good. And then reverse. So you're going to go the opposite direction, good. So I'm cueing her for a trial run so that she sees what to do. On this test, they advocate doing one trial run and then two tests average the scores of the last two tests. You'll notice you can go crazy with the balancing and all these different tests because some people use an average of three, others use the worst score of two after a trial, and they all do it a little bit differently. Just make sure everyone in your clinic is compliant with doing it exactly the same way so we have consistency. So I'm going to clock you to see how quickly you could do that. Make sure you get two feet in each box, please, and wait until I say go. Now the clock starts for the therapist to count as soon as her first foot lands in the this is the first box. So ready? Mm -hmm. Go. One, two, step, three, four, and then back, three, two, one. Great, and she did it. Fantastic. Okay.